This is very confusing. Is there a violation of campaign finance law that happened with the way that AOC set up her campaign? Yeah, p potentially so. Look, the easy way to try to understand this is that, look, she had a campaign organization that she ran and her chief of staff uh, was her campaign manager. And all the money that they raised and all the money that their campaign organization spent had to be reported to the FEC. But it turns out that in the middle of her primary campaign, uh, both she and her chief of staff uh, had legal control of a separate political action committee. The problem with that is that that political action committee apparently uh, spent a lot of money to try to get her elected along with other Democrats. That meant that the PAC was basically operating as her alter ego, uh, which means that there was potentially illegal coordination between her campaign organization and this PAC, and as you said, the PAC, uh, under her direction, <laughs> gave a lot of its money to this LLC that her chief of staff uh, operated and didn't really report how did they spend the money. Were they spending it on ads for her, get out the vote efforts? So you've got just a whole cascading series of possible uh, violations of the law, including potentially excess campaign contributions. Okay, so in, in your view, in your experience as the former commissioner right. of the FEC, uh, is there enough indication of the potential of wrongdoing or lawbreaking activity that this should this complaint should be investigated? A absolutely, yes. Um, the, the, there's a divide here, though. Uh, civil violations, which tend to be inadvertent violations, those are uh, investigated by the Federal Election Commission, and they can impose a civil penalty for a violation. But if someone intentionally and knowingly violates the law, if, for example, they're doing something to hide what they're doing, that's a criminal violation, potentially. And that's actually investigated by the U.S. Justice Department. And it could result not only in a civil penalty, but also uh, uh, time in jail. So how is that determined? Because in and of itself, it's not, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, I waded into a lot of campaign finance law. Like I said, it's very convoluted. It, I believe it's right. not in and of itself illegal for, uh, for a political action committee to make even a large financial donation to an LLC. That, that, uh, the donation in and of itself, you're allowed to do that, correct? Well, you are, but, but here, uh, supposedly, uh, the the monies were being used to help um, the campaign of uh, Representative Ocasio-Cortez, and she was controlling the PAC just the same way she was controlling her campaign organization. That means that the how the money was actually being spent uh, needed to be reported. Also, uh, if anyone who maxed out contributing to her campaign then also contributed to the PAC, then they would have uh, uh, exceeded the limitation on how much you can give to a candidate running for office. And again, that's all money that would need to be returned uh, and, and, and would subject them to a civil penalty for doing that.